Hey guys, True Green 7 here. And it's well known that some Pokemon are based on the same things, whether it be a plant like Cacturn and Maractus or an animal like Polyrath and Toxicroak. It's always interesting to know that some Pokemon are slightly related, but today I'm going to talk about the Pokemon with similar origins that you may have not known about. So don't expect to see all the dogs and cats that Pokemon has to offer in this video. Most of the entries are based on legends and Japanese mythological creatures also known as yokai. Keep in mind that some of these Pokemon are only speculated to share the same origins instead of 100% verified. But as long as you enjoy, ain't nothing wrong with a little guessing. And of course, evolutions don't count. We all know that Pokemon within the same evolutionary family usually share origins. And as usual, I can't talk about every Pokemon, so don't expect me to. But let's start off by explaining the shared origins of Meowstic and Espeon. Of course, they're both based on the Pygmy Marmoset. I, I said cats, right? Cats. They're both based on cats, but it's way more specific than that. In Japanese folklore, a Nekomata is a cat yokai with supernatural powers and two tails. There are different interpretations of a Nekomata, but I'm assuming that these two are based on the domesticated cat Nekomata, whose tail splits as it gets to a certain old age, and basically becomes a psychic demon cat. And wouldn't you know, Meowstic and Espeon have psychic powers and split tails. Burn them! It also seems that Persian and Espeon have jewels on their forehead. This could be a reference to the third eye in certain spiritual traditions or an allusion to carbuncles, little animals with jewels on their heads. This is even the mythical beast that Carbink is named after. Drowsy and Muna both share inspiration from the Japanese myth of the Baku, a supernatural tapir that devours dreams and nightmares. We see now where the move Dream Eater comes from, from these little rascals. Mudkip and Wooper both share visual inspiration from the amphibious axolotl, a kind of salamander that can often be mistaken for mud puppies. Ninetales, Zoroark, and Delphox are all based on the Kitsune in Japanese lore. The supernatural foxes were treated as deities. Ninetales is based off the myth that Kitsunes would start growing tails when they reached around 100 years, and when they would finally grow Ninetales, they would turn white or gold, a splitting image of Ninetales. These Kyubi no Kitsune would gain the ability to see or hear anything and or infinite wisdom. Some are able to shapeshift and are incurable pranksters, and that's where this illusion fox comes in. And while Delphox is mostly based on witches, it's not a coincidence that a psychic fox exists in Pokemon. Another very popular Japanese yokai is the Kappa. A Kappa is basically a mischievous river deity with a turtle shell, webbed feet, and a beak. Most importantly, they have this hollow cavity on their head that must always be filled with water. This is definitely the inspiration of Lombre and its family, but it's also possible that Golduck is partially based on Kappas as well. I don't know, maybe. One thing that Electabuzz, Glalie, Sock, and Thro have in common is that they have eyes, and that their design is somewhat inspired by Japanese demons and ogres called Oni. Oni are often depicted with large teeth and one or two horns, exactly like Electabuzz and Glalie. Sock and Thro were originally going to look more Oni-like, but their horns were minimalized to eyebrows. Very clever, Game Freak. Now it's possible that Game Freak also created both Magmar and Blaziken to resemble the Karura, a fire-breathing bird with a human body. You can't make these things up! Ask your local Japanese Buddhist to tell you more. But how about some firebirds that a westerner like me would be more familiar with? Moltres seems to be based on the phoenix, while Ho-Oh is without a doubt based on the Japanese phoenix, pronounced in Japan as Ho-Oh. Now, Sentret and Watchdog aren't exactly designed to look like the same animal. One's a ferret that looks like a flying squirrel rabbit, and one's a groundhog. But both of their personalities match the meerkat. And meerkats are known to employ sentinels like Sentret or watchmen like Watchdog to scout for their colony and warn them of any danger. They even have a language with specific sounds that mean specific things, like a human with a gun. Burmy and Pineco are both based on the bagworm. Yes, Pineco is not actually a pinecone. There's a bug in there trying to hide itself from predators. Do Venusaurs eat pinecos? I don't know, but it's possible that the flower on Venusaur's back is the Rafflesia, the same stinky flower that Vileplume is based off. Gargoyles are mythical creatures that are carved in stone on the gutter of large buildings. We know that Gligar is partially based on gargoyles, but perhaps Stratagon partially shares the same origin. Considering its face is harder than a rock and it can be found at high altitudes such as Dragon Spiral Tower, and considering his face isn't the cutest in the Pokemon world, I believe it's based on gargoyles. While Shuckle is mostly based on endoliths and various types of fungi, it is also named after barnacles in both English and Japanese. So are Barbarical and Shuckle cousins? Do they have family reunions? 
I bet Chuckle makes all the drinks at the reunion and Barbarical just sits there all mad because his life is an endless nightmare. Much like the Japanese legendary creature Raiju. A yokai composed of lightning who may be seen in the shape of a fox, weasel, wolf, or cat. Raiko seems to be based on the Raiju's cat form, and Mainectric could totally be based on the wolf form, since Mainectric is based on the main wolf. And Golem, Golurk, Golette, and all the Regis are based on the Hebrew mythological creature, the Golem. A year ago, I made a whole video about it. So check it out right here for more info about the Golem and its pocket monster counterparts. But that's all for this video. Make sure to check out the Good Note guys who made the sweet, sweet music you're listening to right now. Their link is in the description below. And if you really enjoyed, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't. Click on the top video to check out more top 10 lists and the bottom one for more Pokemon Origin videos. Don't forget to follow me on the Twitters and Facebook, and I'll see you guys very soon.